Michael Bluth had just been stunned to discover that a contract his company was counting on was being cut back. You initially told us to design and build 22 homes. Now you're saying 18. That doesn't give us enough capital to complete the job. I mean, we've already got the blueprints drawn up and everything. Well, that part wasn't true, but they would have. That was a very important phone call. I don't have much time, Michael. Tobias is about to walk in here any minute asking for a job, and I need you to hire him. Hi, I'm... Look, it isn't my idea, it's his. But I need a break from Mrs. Featherbottom. Since moving out, Tobias had been yeah. pretending to be a British housekeeper as a way to be close to his family. However, his desire to now be discovered as himself was becoming bothersome. Can't you just tell him you know that he's Mrs. Featherbottom? Oh, no, no. She's the only one who can hand wash my delicates. Yeah, the real Tobias wouldn't do that. Wouldn't do what? Be Michael's assistant. Well, that's what I came down here to ask about. I think you'll find me more than qualified. It's really not that simple. Uh, you'd have to submit a resume. Booyah! Wow, Jobias Industries. Go Bias. Right. As in Go Bias. I remember, yeah. You know what? Looks like you might be a little too qualified. Hang on. Why don't you let your new assistant take all this down? Wow, you're a gung-ho. You're getting a new assistant? Is this because the order was cut back? No, but if you are concerned about keeping your job, you might want to focus on keeping unwanted visitors out of my office. I have rabies, Michael. You know that. Today was day four of my shots. Starla had been bitten by a well-known music producer's guard dog. Michael, Starla told us about the cutback. You know, a lot of our overhead is tied up in the fact that we are on the top floor of a very expensive building. If we move just one floor lower... Ted, everything's fine. I got it all under control, and nobody needs to move. I'm sorry, Ted? Yes. Is it Ted? Did Ted make an appointment? No, I just worked on the hall. No. And... Well, then Ted can get the hell out of this office! Talk... You get the hell out! And that's how you keep out unwanted visitors. Thank you. Although, if I may... Let me take off my assistant skirt and put on my Barbara Streisand in the Prince of Tides ass-masking therapist pantsuit. What? The reason that you can't accept my help is the same reason you can't hear that gentleman's idea. Because you have to be in total control of everything. And it's going to make you sick if you can't let go. Hey, I'm fine. Oh? Oh, oh. See, he's right. You've got a control problem. But I know this Eastern medicine store, Ancient Chinese Secret. Ancient, Ancient Chinese, Chinese secret, secret, huh? I sent Job there for his migraines. It's just a cramp. I'm fine. In fact, Job was at Ancient Chinese Secret at that moment, but not for a migraine. Yeah, I need a tea to give my dingle less tingle. Me quick, one slow. Wait, that's Indian. Tea for dong. <laughs> Sweet blade. It's the sword of destiny. It's full of ancient magic. Oh, yeah? You into magic? Still, where'd the lighter fluid come from? So is it for sale? I could use it in my act. Maybe. Sword of Destiny, hundreds of years old. Come with the ancient story of warning and... Yeah, I make up my own pattern. Just ring it up with the dong tea. And Joe caught up with Michael. Michael! Hey, I've been looking for you. Looks like you're looking for dragons. In the future. I wouldn't mock the sword of destiny, Michael. Careful with that, Job. Bleeding? Nope. Yeah, that's blood.